What's up, athletes? Welcome back. Today, we're doing a seven-minute killer arm sculpt. This is a no-stop workout, and I am so nervous about this one. But before we get started, I wanted to let you know that on my podcast, Fall in Love with Fitness, I talk often about the 10 habits of successful athletes. And you may already be wondering, what does she keep talking about? I am not an athlete. I don't get paid millions of dollars a year to show up for my sport. Now, athletes... Being an athlete is a mindset. It is about the being, not the doing. And so athletes don't show up because they're focused on releasing weight. They don't diet and exercise. Instead, they focus on their performance and they use nutrition to fuel their performance and their recovery. Now, the other big thing that athletes do, which is habit number nine, is they celebrate their wins. They focus on all of the things that are going right. And if you think about it, the majority of our day, we spend with self-deprecating thoughts. We're constantly putting ourselves down. We're constantly feeling like it's not enough. And no matter how much we do, it's never enough. Even when we show up every single day, we still don't think it's good enough. So today, athletes, I want you to celebrate your success. The fact that you are here and you're going to do this seven minute killer arm workout with me. All right. Are you ready to get started? Remember, if you are new here, to go ahead and subscribe so that we keep training together. And then maybe share this video with a friend so you have an accountability partner too. All right, so here it is. You're going to need a light pair of dumbbells. Light pair of dumbbells. You're going to need maybe a mat. And then that's pretty much it. Stay close by to a wall. I'll give you that little hint just now in case you need to modify any movements coming up. Now, This is a no-stop workout. We're going to work for 30 seconds, and it's also a wild card workout, meaning you don't know what is coming up. I'm going to give you your first exercise, then you'll check the box above to know what is coming next. All right, and here it is. Are you ready? Grab your weights. We're going to keep this super nice and simple. You're going to just stand maybe with the feet shoulder width apart and squeeze the glutes. Don't keep that bend in the knee because when we bend the knee, we automatically arch the back. So don't lock them out completely. Just squeeze the glutes here. Bring the shoulder blades back and down. And then you're going to do a curl and a press. All right. So just to warm up the arms, are you ready for seven minutes in three, two, one, and let's go. So continue to breathe here with me athlete and just maybe really think about how you want to find a good pace that will help you sustain the seven minutes because it doesn't seem like it's a lot of time but I'm going to remind you that we're not stopping and we're just going to keep going all right so bring the weights down three two one and now from here you're going to do a double press so it's going to be one curl with two presses That's it. And so I'm gonna dedicate this workout today to my friend, Jorge Medina, who's been following my channel for a while and following these workouts. And he commented just some weeks ago asking me if it would be possible to post some more upper body workouts. And so Jorge, this is for you. All right, let's do this last one. And now we're gonna add a third press, okay. So remember, athletes, to not blame me, you're gonna blame Jorge because this was his request. And then also maybe to think about, what do you wanna see? Oh my God, what do you wanna see coming up? What do you enjoy doing most? And I'll even recommend to maybe do something that's a bit challenging for you. All right, let's just make this the last one since we're already here. And then we're gonna go for an alternating front and lateral raise. So squeeze the glutes. More shoulders, I know. Squeeze the glutes here. Really important, I keep reminding you to squeeze the glutes because we're gonna engage the core and then really kind of shift more into stability. Let's make this our last one and then fold it forward and then go ahead and do some reverse flies. And we're not gonna rotate the arms just yet so just reverse those flies and make sure that back is straight and so if you don't have a mirror nearby which I also recommend to try to train without a mirror look straight when you look down the spine follows when you look straight you're gonna keep that back straight all right now keep it up because now we're gonna add a twist 
We're gonna add a twist, Jorge. Three, two, one. All right, now pinkies up. You got this. That's it. And again, I, I have that tendency to look down at my timer, but remember that if we look down, then we automatically flex that spine, but we wanna keep a nice straight back. Because you may also be feeling right now, possibly that posterior chain, last one. All right, now stay here with me and then alternate one at a time. So as you alternate, don't rotate the body, okay? So stay there. And, and you notice maybe my toes are up because I'm really driving through that posterior chain and I'm gonna look straight just to remember to keep that back straight. All right, that's it, here it is. Oh man, I'm even feeling my glutes and my hamstrings. Where are you feeling this? I love when you comment, by the way. I love when you tell me, now both. I love when you tell me how this went for you, what else you'd like to see, because I may be dedicating a workout for you soon. So don't feel shy. I know we have a tendency to want to just keep things to ourselves, but remember that I create this content for you. So keep it coming. All right, now it's going to get really spicy. And so we're going to do a row with a fly. Three, two, one. All right, row. Oh my and fly. All right, my glutes officially on fire. You got this, good work. And now we're gonna go for some external rotators on the wall. So make sure you are close by to a wall. We're gonna have a moment to just stand up here in just a sec. You got it, three, two, one, and just clean it up. All right, now come onto the wall. Place the low back onto the wall and then bring the arms up and you're just gonna rotate here. So you notice I'm in kind of a wall sit, but I really am focusing on keeping that back flat against the wall. <sighs> Nicely done. And then just don't force the shoulders. So don't worry too much about the range of motion except that just try as much as you can to be mindful of the shoulders. Stay here with me and then all the way up. That's it, and what we're doing in this position is we're blocking the shoulder blade in the back, you may have already noticed, and really forcing a more vertical position. That's it, you got this, come on, stay here with me. All right, get ready, we're gonna come back to the mats in five seconds. Three, two, one, oh my. All right, so let's go for curl, curl and press. And now keep your hands in that hammer position. Curl and press, squeeze the glutes, small pelvic tilt. Just engaging that core. And then bring the weight down as well with control. And now get ready because we're gonna do <laughs> Two curls, sorry, three curls, adding that third curl. I've got less oxygen now to the brain. Three and one. So one, two, three, and one. That may have been four. One, two, three, and one. All right, let's go. Let's do one more. Two three and one. All right, now let's fold it forward one last time for our kickbacks. And the triceps must feel nice and spicy right now, especially with all of the presses we've been doing. Okay, we're just gonna finish it strong. Try not to sway back and forth. So really focus on bringing the sides of your belly towards the midline. Pull up through the arches of the feet. Three, two, one and break, ah, oh, good work athletes, high five. So remember you can repeat one more time if you have it in you. And by now I think you have an idea of whether or not this was the most suitable weight for you today. Remember also that I've got another workout for you at the end of this video to complete your training today. So make sure you check that out. Comment below and then like this video if it aligned with you. 
And if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe so that we keep training together. All right, athletes, let's go refuel, rehydrate, and let's meet in the next one. You got this.